everybody hope your preparation for the board exam is going well in the previous video from the sample paper we solved section d now it's time to continue to the section e so without wasting much time let's check out the questions all right here is the question paper let's scroll down for section e total 10 marks are allotted there are two questions in it each carries 5 marks It looks quite small isn't it but it is a matter of total 10 marks so let's read the first question from the section E question number 36th Mr Ravi who is a manager of tech company he is maintaining the records of the employees in each record there are total four fields the first is employee id second is employee name third is department and fourth one is salary what we need to do we need to write python function The first task is we have to input employee data and append it to the binary file. This question is based on binary file. Hope you are clear with the working of binary file how to write, read and append data to it. If not this is the video in which we have covered everything. Make sure to check it out. All right, let's come to VS code and try to write code here itself. To work with binary file we use pickle module. From the pickle module we use load and dump function. First we need to write the function which will append data to the binary file. For that according to the instruction function is ready. We need to take the input of that four fields. With this four input statements we will be taking employee data, employee id, employee name, department and salary. Now it's time to write this record to the binary file. For that we will be using dump function, but dump function will write one object at a time. So let's convert these four inputs into one list. File name is not mentioned in the question, so according to us we can take the name. Using with we are opening the file. Here is the mode for the binary file AB. We will be keep on adding the records that's why we will be opening the file into append mode. Now let's dump this record into the file for that we will be using dump function of the pickle module. It takes two parameter. The first is the object and the second one is the file handle. The name of the file handle is fp. With that data will get returned to the file. If you wish to you can print this message. In the exam you need not call the function until it is specified but if you want to execute the program we will be calling this function hope you remember the extension for the binary file we can write as dot dat or we can write as dot bin it's time to execute the program enter some details of the employees Look at the output. Record got successfully inserted to the binary file. If you want to read the content of the file, you can somehow open it in a text editor and you can read it. Binary file will not be in human readable format. One record got inserted. In the same way, insert some more records. Make sure to enter department as IT because we have to update the record in the second function. It's time to check out the second question. We need to update the salary of the employees which are in the IT department to 2 lakhs. Hope you know how to update data in the binary file. For that process we need 3 steps. First we will load the data from the binary file. It means this is a read operation. We have appended the data to the binary file in the form of list. So we will get back the list. In that list we will do the modification you know that list is mutable we can modify the list and after modification that modified list we will write back to the binary file you can do this process in different ways whichever you feel comfortable you can go ahead with it i am following the simplest way if you want to update data directly into the binary file then you need to use these file functions tell and seek But this is the safest and the simplest way. Load the data, change into it and write back whole list to the binary file. All right, here is the user defined function. As we discussed, the first step is to load the data. Load the data means to read the data. Hope you know the process for it. Using infinite while loop, we are loading the data. It means we will get exception when the data will get over. For that we are writing this code in the try except block. 
when the exception will arise we are not doing anything why because we are opening the file using with statement so there is no need to close the file otherwise we generally close the file in case of exception we are simply loading and printing to check whether we could read the file or not so let's call this function and execute the program look at the output we could read the file there are two records according to your records you will get the output so the first task is done we could load the data data is in the form of the list we will modify that list we will update the salary of the employee in the it department to 2 lakhs let's remove this print statement we are not printing now itself using if statement we will check whether the department is it if it is it update the salary to 2 lakhs in that list department is at the index 2 and the salary is at the index 3 Now let's create one list in which we will add all those employees it will be a nested list then so the name we will write as all the employees it will be empty in the beginning and this updated list we will add into it so let's append it in this way we created one nested list of all the employees with the updated data with that total two tasks are done loading and modification now we are proceeding with the third task to write these updated records back to the binary file for that we need write operation we already know how to write data to the file using dump function we will iterate over all the employees list taking list one by one and passing to the dump function we know dump function will write one object at a time so we are giving individual list to it we are using wb mode because we need to erase the previous data delete the previous records so all three tasks are done if you want to check whether the record is updated or not you can take one variable to keep track of it so let's take one variable updated it will be false in the beginning if it is updated we will write it as true let's make it updated if it is updated we will make it true with the if else you can write that condition too if it is updated you can mention it is updated successfully otherwise not hope you got this code we loaded the data modified the list and we wrote that list back to the binary file by erasing the previous record it means we are erasing all the previous records and modified records we are writing again let me reduce the font and show you the code So this is how it will look like. Hope you understood the concept. You can do it in a different way. Let's execute and check whether we are getting the correct output or not. We got the message to that salary updated for the IT department. If you want to show the changes, we cannot see directly. For that, you have to write one small program to read the file. Let me do that for you. Let's read the file and check out whether really it is updated or not. Look at the output. This employee is in IT department and his salary got updated to 2 lakhs. In this way you can add some more records and you can cross check your answer. Hope you understood this concept. All right, now it's time to move ahead. Here is question number 37th. It is application based question. You will surely get this type of question and it is very easy to cover these five marks. Read the question with patience. Here is one company trying to set up a new campus in Hyderabad. It has four blocks: HR, Finance, IT, and Logistics. We need to provide them best network solutions. In the first table, the distance between different blocks is mentioned, and in the second table, the number of computers are mentioned in each block. Now let's read the question. The first question is. suggest best location for server in the hyderabad campus and we need to explain the reason look at the table where the number of computers are mentioned from the table it is clear that server should be it block because it has maximum number of computers let's read the second question suggest the placement of the following devices the first is repeater When you want to pass the signal over a distance more than 100 meters we use repeaters so that the signal strength should not get weakened for that we must check the distance between different blocks from this table here is the diagram which indicates the distance between different blocks 
175 meter is the distance between HR and IT block which is greater than 100 meter. It means we need repeater between HR and IT block. Alright, let's move ahead and check out the second device. We need to place switch. What is switch? It is a network device. With the help of it, we can connect number of computers. When we look at the table of number of computers, there are many computers to be connected. It means we need switch in all the four blocks. Alright, what's the next question? Suggest and draw a cable layout of connections between buildings inside the campus. For that we have three options, right? Star, bus, ring. So based on the number of computers, we can suggest this star topology where server is at the center and other blocks are connected to it. Alright, it's time to check out the fourth question. The organization plans to provide a high speed link with its head office using a wired connection. Which of the cables will be most suitable for this job? We have studied three transmission media for wired connection, twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and optical fiber. We need high speed. That's why we will go ahead with optical fiber. Here is the fifth question. What is the use of VOIP? Hope you know what is VOIP. It's a voice over internet protocol. With this technology, we can do the voice communication over internet. Just like we use WhatsApp for voice call as well as for video call. Alright, here is a or part for the same question. Let's read it. Which type of network will be found while connecting Hyderabad campus to Bangalore headquarters? These are two different cities, right? And the distance between them is almost 500 km. So out of these four networks, which one we will be using? It is ultimately WAN. We know that PAN is used to connect different devices within home. LAN is used within 10 km of area. Whereas MAN is applicable within city. Ultimately, WAN is the correct choice. Alright, it's time to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. With that, we have completed all the sections of the sample question paper. Now, after completing the theory portions, lot of PY quiz we solved on each topic. Then we solve the sample question paper. Now I have a doubt what to cover next. You will help me with that. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cover in the next video. Not only that, in case of any doubt, please let me know. And I trust you. You will like, share and subscribe. So I will be waiting for your comments. Until next time, keep practicing. See you in the next video.